G'day guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video with me, Zarius. Today I'm going to bring you another video tutorial on another vehicle that I just come up with. And uh, i got to give credit to one of the guys on Lord Dacker's server for this because uh, he's been watching my videos and he's... He, he, I logged on last night and he said, Z, come and have a look at this, my very first inspired car from you. And I went and had a look at it, and I tell you what, for his very first car, it was freaking amazing. Um, and it looked really good. So he inspired me to come up and create a, a new build right off the bat, right in front of him. So um, I can't remember his full name, but I'll say BM. So BM, you inspired me uh, to build a new car. So, and this is it, guys. This is what I'm going to teach you how to build today. Now... This is pretty snazzy. I really like it. Um, don't worry about all that stuff at the back. These are uh, a couple of my design houses. Um, yeah, I might do another video and show you all that sort of stuff. And my Titanic in the background, and my sort of like skyscraper building there. But anyway, we're here for this, and we're going to get started. So what we're going to need, guys, is we're going to need coal blocks. We're going to need snow. We're going to need buttons, we need slabs, we need corner stairs, we need signs, and uh, we need hoppers. Yeah, and that's pretty much all we need. So anyway, let's get started. We are going to build it on this side right here. So first two blocks down, leaving one space gap. And then you're going to place one... Actually, we're going to grab some snow because on the server it says that if you click on that, and again, the same size. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And in the center here, we're just gonna place one slab. At the back of that, what we're gonna do is just place one bedrock. Now, I'm gonna start using a lot of bedrock in a lot of things, guys, because I think bedrock is an appreciated block. And if you look at it, look at the texture. It's beautiful. I mean, this is the sort of tires, or a sort of block that you would use for a Formula One. Nice and smooth. So I'm gonna use bedrock right in there. Now, I'm also gonna grab a, a, a item frame, and I'm gonna grab a furnace, okay? Which is right here. I'm gonna just swap out that now. I'm gonna chuck an item frame behind there. No, I'll take it out put an item frame on there and then follow that with a furnace then put your slab back so it sits all really snug inside there and I really like the look of that really nice okay so with my item, fr um, item frames I'm just going to pop them on the side just like that and I'm going to use buttons and I might use wooden buttons something different yeah, I'm going to use wooden buttons. I've never used wooden buttons before. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, behind here, what we're going to do is grab a black glass block. And with a glass block, we're just going to place that boom, right at the back there. Behind here, we're going to grab two anvils. And the two anvils are going to symbolize a big-ass engine. Okay? Behind the actual cabin of the car. With your corner stairs, you're going to place one in the center, and you're going to place another one that side. All right. Then with your snow, you're going to come up the same height as this here. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to place a button on the snow. And you don't have to place a button. If you can't put a button in there, don't worry about it. It looks good without it. But if you can, place a button. Same thing again, the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. And a button. All right, so we've got that started, okay? Right here, what we're gonna do is gonna place one slab, one slab, followed with two coal blocks, one and two. And you can actually put a coal block in here as well, because it's just gonna be an extra block. You're not gonna see it. At the back of the coal block in the center, I'm going to place an upside down corner stair. 
grab your coal blocks, come out by one, like so, and with your hopper, double exhaust system. Just like that. Just pop in our item frames either side, followed with our wooden buttons, like so. Like that. Alright. Now, on the back here, if you've got world edit, you can actually do this, which is one layer of snow caps, followed with two, two, uh, sorry, one, two, and three. Then you've got your block here. But I've had a few people say that they don't have world edit, so I have to improvise. So I'm showing you guys now in advance, that's what it looks like if you've got world edit. Okay. Now for the console users that don't have world edit, I'm going to make this one for you. So it's just a matter of grabbing your, um, oh I suppose we could use snow, uh, carpet. Just grab your white carpet, and with your white carpet just place three carpet at the back, just to give it that low look, okay. Yeah. On the back here, we'll just grab our snow. And we're just going to raise it up on the three blocks. One, one, and two. Okay. Then on the front of the glass, you're going to place one quartz block. Just like that. On the bedrock, grab your snow. One. Just one. Let's see what it looks like with two. Two. Yeah, two looks good. Yeah, we can get away with two. I put one on that one just there, but two looks good, so we'll, we'll stick with two, okay? On the top here, you've got a choice. You can use slabs, which gives it that sort of look, and I think it just looks a bit derpy like that, to be honest. So you want to see the engine. So what you could do is maybe grab your carpet and place carpet on the anvils, so that way you can still see the engine. You're actually still sitting inside, and it's sort of like it flows up, and it sort of like flattens out and goes back down again. It sort of looks like a real serious race car that's out, actually out there on the market, sort of thing. Um, it looks like the old Jag, sort of thing, maybe. I can't remember the name of it. If you know the name of it, place your comments down below. I, I've got the vision of the actual car, but I just can't remember the name, so. Yeah. Now grab your snow again, place them on the two on the front tires. Now it's optional. Right? You don't have to have the snow on the tires. You can take the snow off. And that looks that looks pretty nasty too. Okay. If you wanted to, you could grab your weighted pressure plates or your standard pressure plates and just pop in the pressure plates on the tires. Just give me a few options. I mean, look at that. That looks freaking nasty. <laughs> I mean, shit, I wouldn't race this if I was up against it. But yeah, there's a couple of options there for you. Okay. Now, right here, what you want to do is you want to grab a, a sign. And with your sign, you want to put that here. Because that way, it, it, it it's sort of like fits perfectly, it flows nicely, you've got the exhaust at the back that's open, and then it just like comes down, you can still see the engine at the back, so pop in a sign there, because that looks really nice, alright, and that, that's the build guys, so easy, I mean look at that, I mean if you saw something like this at the satellites, if this was a real car, you wouldn't even rev your engine against this. You'd kick your ass in an instant. Anyway, grab your cobwebs, put one in front of that exhaust, come back by one block. Yeah, come back by one block, place another one. There you go. And that's it. We can chuck your signs in. Let's grab our signs. Here we go. Zarius. And we'll come down the back as well, and we'll pop one in here for the number plate people. Just like that. Happy days, all done. 
So I hope you like this car tutorial guys, I really do. This is uh, for the console users and for the world edit users you can put the snow at the, at the back. One, two, three. Quart block or slab then one or two just like this here. And yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smack that like button, place a comment down below because uh, all your comments and your thumbs up really help me out uh, for new content and it puts me out there with the other people that haven't noticed Zarya's channel yet. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. That would even be better again. That would be freaking amazing. Thanks to all my subbies and uh, the newcomers that are subbing to me and watching my content. Really appreciate it. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching again. Until next time, I'll catch you on the next one.